Those savages just tearing into it like a couple of raccoons. I'm Zachary Fowler, and that's Chris Thorne. And this is the 30 Days Survival Challenge, Texas. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. <sighs> Good morning. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a whole herd of ravenous, blood-sucking mosquitoes. I can hear them buzzing against the outside of my hammock netting. But thank goodness I am secure in my war bonnet hammock. Ah. Uh, uh, so sticky. It's just warm enough where right? you just feel sticky from not having a shower. I have to go jump in the river here soon. It's been today's day five. Looking forward to some good stuff today, though. I'm excited. Get up. Get some uh, crawdad soup into me. Go out and check all those traps and all the stuff we got going on. <laughs> And get up to something new. I don't know what yet. Maybe successfully fishing with the uh, sling bow. Yeah. Dear Diary, if a mosquito bit Spider-Man and then bit you, would you turn into Spider-Man or Mosquito-Man? And what would Mosquito-Man's powers be? I guess he'd basically be a vampire. That would kind of suck. Taking some minnows, woo, crazy little guy. Down to the river and try my hand at fishing again. I'm gonna rig up a line and rebait the catfish line that's down there. Hopefully I got a catfish. I baited it with turtle liver yesterday. So maybe that caught me something, maybe it didn't. If not, I'm gonna rebait it freshly with some power bait from power bait catfish bait. And I'll try again to put some of these out and be patient and sling bow a gar when it comes up to hit them. Hopefully if I'm patient, I'm less hungry the way I was yesterday, I get one. Oy vey. It is hot and muggy out today, and tomorrow's supposed to be even hotter. I've not seen a rattlesnake, so I'm kind of disappointed. But there is all this delicious food just everywhere. Look at these cactus tunas. I just stop and have a snack, pick up some of those to eat while I'm down there fishing. Of course, the, the ripe ones are all in there with their most prickly part of the cactus. It looks like a beet, but they are all pear and raspberry flavor. So good. Not that hard to process. You get a couple little glockets of the thorns in your fingers every so often. Mmm. 
Ó. All right. Whoa! There was something right there on the bank right when I got here. Awesome. I wonder if it's attached to one of my lines. I see some tension on one of my lines. All right. Got the shovel just in case it is something big. Let's see if I got something. Ah, the hook is gone. Huh. Might need heavier line. What about this one? Oh, everything is gone. Hook and bobbers. That's disappointing. Obviously, this is not the right line for a night line then. Re-rigged, got a heavier line, some catfish power bait here. Sticking that on there, I'm gonna drop that to the bottom with some sinkers on it. Hopefully I have a better chance at uh, catching whatever ate everything yesterday. Come on, monster catfish. Daddy's hungry for some catfish. <laughs> All right, little guy. Do your thing. Bring me a gar. Got my slingshot here, the simple shot hammer with the fishing rig and a fishing arrow. Let's see what we can do. Lord bless my fishing. Well, not a single strike, unlike yesterday. It is noon-ish right now. So, maybe uh, coming back after dark will be better. I'm gonna give a couple tries with the old fishing reel. See if I have any better luck than I did yesterday with that. Of course, as soon as I set this down, boom, something's gonna happen, I know it. All right, trying something new. I heard tell that there's a possibility that frayed nylon line, so I got some of this bank line, I frayed it all up. I'm gonna tie it around the top of my hook next to the minnow, and then I'm gonna fray the other end of this. And the gar supposedly get their teeth stuck in this, like bad dental floss stuck between your teeth. And then I can haul them in without them breaking free, because I have not been able to set a hook no matter how many bites I get. Here we go, I got the frayed line. Hopefully it gets his teeth stuck in there and the minnow to bait him in. Let's try that out. Well, none of the promised water snakes and unsuccessful at catching the gar so far, but there's not as much sign right now. And I knew that. I was just down here to check my night lines and hopefully there'd be something on there. And, uh, I, and then I got carried away with trying some new stuff out that proved to be very close to successful, but did not actually land me a fish. I'm going to go back, have another pot of crawdad soup. that I found myself a wild pecan cool looks like I found a little grove of wild pecan trees I'm gonna see if I can't hunt around and find some stuff to take back forage wise that's not bad for just like two minutes Let's see if I can't fill my pack a 
Well, that by no means fills my pack, but that's three or four good handfuls. I think these ones, though, that are kind of kind of still got the shell stuck heavily to them are not what you want to eat. Yeah, the ones that fall right out of the shell, the outer husk, are okay. These ones that are still have their outer husk stuck on tightly are moldy. I don't think I put any in there except for, all right, there's the second one. Maybe this one, check that. Yep, moldy. Okay, tastes like it was on its way out. Now, I'll sort the rest of those back at camp. Oh. 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 oh wow, that's cool. I put the turtle shell on an open ant hilly thing. And since I put it there this morning, they've like filled right in. I put it there so that the ants would clean it out for me so I could take it home to my girls as a little present. So, looks like they're busy at work making that happen. All the ones I harvested, it seems like 50% of them are nasty in the middle. Rotten. Rotten. Oh, that's a good one. Mmm, that one's so sweet. Man, these wild pecans, these are, these are awesome. As long as they're not rotten. Rotten, rotten. Good one. There was a couple that I opened down there. They were like all full of like, almost like they had just turned to juice. It was really gross. Ugh, super rotten. This is fire strip roll. And I've never tried it before. I'm gonna try it with the Exotech Sparker. Here, little ferro rod deal. Ooh, lights right up. I like it. And then I got this whole coil bit. I think this might be overkill considering how well this stuff burns. Alright, while I wait for my coffee, before I go out on my evening hunt and my crawdad soup to heat up, I need to do some repairs. I didn't do this last night after I found that these were messed up and put them back in the water. And, uh, but I have figured out how to make the repairs. I have Grimworks survival cards. Yes sir, and 30 pound fishing line. There's some holes in these. I'm gonna bust out my survival card. It's a full on sewing kit right there in one. So let's bust one of these bad boys out and fix the nets. And it's got a retention backing so you could just stick the sewing needle right back on there into the sticky material and keep using it until you finally wear it out. This, this kit they gave me is literally a full kit of all the goodies. Let me just show you an ax card. Don't ask me what you're gonna use that for, but just kidding. <laughs> this one's a uh, a bigger spearhead arrowhead. It's like a whole combination of all kinds of stuff going on on there. What's got a lockpick card and one I haven't had to use yet, but uh, should I get into the patch of a uh, really bad the Glockheads there, the needles on the cactus? That is a tweezer card for three different sets of tweezers. I can see that being very handy out here. And we're actually in the middle of, I'll post it right here, you can see a picture, a little sneak peek of my custom card that they are making, a Fowler card. And here's a, uh, another fishing card which actually has little lures. Amazing fun stuff. I always have at least two Grim cards in my wallet at all times at home. I have my fishing card and I have the lockpick set because I always hope to be MacGyver and have to get a chance to save the day with that card sometime. See that, that hole right there, I'm gonna stitch that bad boy up with this needle. I 
Thankfully, I know what I'm doing when it comes to sewing. I used to actually be a uh, make clothes, make dresses for girls in my high school year of high school there. Ooh, the ticket tip is actually too fine. Got all messed up trying to punch this hard material. I like all my stuff to be useful, useful, useful. The Grim cards are very useful and I always have multiple uses on each card. And they work in tandem with all my other stuff by if it needs to be sharpened, the fish hook needs to be sharpened when you snap them out of there, then I can sharpen it with my wazoo necklace. There we go. And we're off and away. Wow, that works really good. Boom, and done. I also put a hole in my crotch, my fall ravens. I didn't have my pants all the way up and I stretched to put one knee down when I was trying to bow hunt. All right, would you look at those beautiful stitches? All repaired. Awesome. Not that I hadn't been enjoying that extra breeze here because it's hot as heck today. On my way down to do some night fishing, and just gonna rebait the trap. See if I can just toss this can back in there. Oh yeah, nailed it. It was a rabbit, and I missed him by like that much. There's another rabbit. Missed him again. The uh, arrow's a lot slower than the slingshot with ammo. I need to get a lot closer. Get away down to the river. We're posted up. We put some minnows out on the lines like we did yesterday during the evening. See if we can't get some gar action again and this time get our aim on and get our gar on. Haul it in. It's yours. Is it on there? Yeah. It's All right, get, there. get up and uh, get the net. Yes, yes, yes. Get the net. Where's I'm the, where's the net? Oh. Okay. All right. Is it still on there? Yeah. Where is he? Right here. He's, he's, oh, it's right there, right there. Keep him up. All right. Yes. Good job, buddy. Nice catch. Catfish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that catfish. Look at the size of that catfish. Holy cow. You told me catfish is a spice of life and we got one day five. Gonna cook our catfish right up here. That way we can hear if we catch some more. Don't give up on uh, getting some more tonight. Last night when I walked away on the lines, I had a weaker line, it was 30 pound test. And it got chewed through or snapped, maybe because of a catfish sitting on there all night like this, just walk, working away at it. So I got 50 pound on there and it's better just to cook it here than to go back and miss a chance at being down here and hearing a fish for another two hours. Boom. So before I start gutting it, I need something to put the fish eggs in. I believe it has fish eggs. So I'm gonna make a cactus hot pocket and stick the eggs in there and I can stick this like a little pot in the fire and it'll burn these off and it'll hold the eggs inside of here as a little cooking pouch for me. And there's the eggs, not as many as I was hoping for. Drop them in the old cactus hot pocket and we'll put that on the fire. Another thing we can eat in here, which is all fat, is what I'm cutting out right now, the air bladder. And uh, I did not know that before, but I learned about this in Canada from the Wooded Beardsman. Ah, oh, it ripped. But it's uh, just a big white air bladder, and it's all fat, and it's kind of chewy. But uh, it's uh, food. That's what we need. All right, look at that. Got a second one. Now we're definitely eating really good tonight. 
They look like little sharks. Yeah, they do. All right, so when you want to grab a catfish, you grab, oops, you get that off of them. Grab them behind these spikes right here, that spike and that spike, and that spike have a little bit of poison in it, like a bee sting. So you grab them behind those and finger up into the gills to lock it in place. We're gonna take them over, give them a thump, and dispatch him humanely, and then we'll be able to gut him and drag him back to camp. I think we'll probably save it for tomorrow. Yeah? That way we can cook him with the wadobo and do it real nice. We'll eat one down here and then bring this by guy back, gut, have a big old breakfast tomorrow. Cat and fish. Down. Catfish for breakfast. Yes. All right, coals are all ready. Look at those nice hot coals. You don't want any flame, all hot coals. Oops. Boom. And I'm gonna throw the head on there. Boom. Cook those bad boys up. We got our cactus hot pocket with the eggs in it right there. Boom. Made myself some chopsticks, getting ready for our food. And we got a fork here I made for Chris. A little three prong thing and a heat bent it so they're evenly in place. And a little picky tool. And just in case he wants to I uh, made him some training wheel chopsticks. <laughs> Gotta get the hot coals off of it so we don't burn the shemag. We set out our beautiful little tablecloth here for, for our dinner. We'll put it like that. Our shamig. Oh, is that a hot coal? Oh, look at that meat. Look at that meat. Oh. oh, that looks good. Oh, I can just pick it right up with the chopsticks. Just so juicy. Mmm. 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 First bite, y'all. That is good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my lanta. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. My catfish skin is good. Oh, that is a chunk. Look at that. That's a big old piece. Yeah. That's like half the size of a Snickers bar. Mmm. All right. Looks like a chicken nugget. Oh, this crispy skin. I'm eating that. You want this piece? The other side's kind of ruined. It's kind of. Not half bad. Yeah, it's like a chip. I bet that's keto approved. There's a lot of fat in the skin. We cooked this just right. I feel like I can feel my brain cells re-inflating after the right of having food. I'm not even halfway through it yet. This is by far the tastiest thing I've had. Mm. Oh, there's a whole other half. You got so hungry, forgot to pray. Dear Jesus. Here, Jesus, thank you for this food and the two cro uh, the two catfish. Oh, Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Look, savage is just tearing into it. Like a couple of raccoons. We start snarling at each other. Arr! If I licked this whole side right now, would you still eat it? Dude. <laughs> you could do, you have, you'd, you'd have to defecate on this thing. Really <laughs> yep. We pretty much polished that bad boy off. Still some bones for the soup pot. All right, now our cactus hot pocket with the eggs and stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So, call that a Texas River sushi. <coughs> and there's the fish eggs. Tastes like protein grits. Mmm. This so reminds me of protein grits. They do. They do taste like grits. But like, obviously, yeah. Yep. Not bad. We got something else on the line. Or it's stuck around a log. Oh, something's fighting. Come on. Oh. I don't know if I lost her. If it's, no, here it is. Oh. All right, get her. Yeah. 
smaller catfish. They get smaller each time. Here we go, third catfish of the night. Almost a pound, maybe a pound. Yeehaw. Is that called a grand slam when you get three? Ugh. I am back, hot and sticky. Ugh. <sighs> what a night. Three catfish. What a score. <sighs> Once again, it is a long night. It's like 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the morning. I am done. See you guys tomorrow. Day, day 6. It's my birthday. Hey, actually, being that it's 1 o'clock in the morning, it's actually my birthday now. It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. You would do if it happened to you. Alright, Fowler out.